Erica Thompson, and you are watching AUR Web, and we are here with the lovely Kendra C. Johnson. How are you? I'm outstanding. Thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. So, first of all, before I get started on any questions, let's talk about how fabulous she looks, okay? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Rhea Norman, stylist. <laughs> She did, it. <laughs> she did it. So the show is coming back soon. Can yes, you tell us what you expect from this upcoming season? Oh my gosh. Um, so yes, coming back January 7th, 9 p.m. Only oh, no. And um, it's an amazing season. There's a lot in store. There's so much I can't say to you right now. But trust me that you should watch because there's a special guest. A special. Mm, would it be the creator, maybe? Tyler Perry? Some may say. Some may, no, yes, absolutely. We had, there's a cameo. Medea makes an amazing cameo this season. That was so much fun shooting. My gosh. Um, I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet either, y'all. So um, I can't wait to see it. Definitely worth tuning in for. I think everybody's going to love it. Better. Yes. Don't miss it. So it's a lot of ladies that are on the show. So who takes the longest to get ready? Oh, me. <laughs> Next question. I, I, I own it. You own it? Yes, me. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, so what changes can you say you've experienced from the first season to now as far as like growth, popularity, you know, new friends and things like that? Like, can you tell Oh, you mean personally, Kevin? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> no, um, it's been, no, it's been amazing. I think just the, you go into it hoping that you're going to make people laugh and through their laughter they'll be inspired and 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 and, and you'll get across an important message um, you know as Mr. Perry so yeah. eloquently weaves them in and I think that's probably the thing I've learned or 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 that's changed the most from the first season you kind of go into it hoping that happens yeah. and then as you start interacting more with the fans and people come up to me on the street and I was at uh, my church in Los Angeles and literally I thought they were um, just happy to see me because I had been in Atlanta filming you know I hadn't been there so long I thought everybody was just rushing over because they were happy to see me but everybody was rushing over to tell me who they felt like I needed to pick between Philip and Will and I said well you know that's Linda and I'm Kendra <laughs> So speaking of that, who do you enjoy kissing between those two? Mm-hmm. I don't enjoy kissing either. <laughs> it's a job. I signed up for it, so I do it. <laughs> She's such a professional. Thanks. So uh, you know you're working on a lot of projects. I know you, you started a magazine. Can you tell us a little bit more about your magazine? Actually, I, I didn't start a magazine. I used to um, write for Plus Model Magazine. I was, the, I was formerly the empowerment editor. Plus my magazine. Mm -hmm. So um, that was wonderful. I, I have a passion for women, of course. Mm -hmm. um, women, period. Um, not just plus size women, but definitely a connection mm -hmm. to um, uh, plus size women and young women and girls. And just I feel like it's really important on the um, to get them as early as possible yeah. um, to just so that they are they have that foundation of you know self esteem, self worth, self worthiness. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've actually been working. Most recently, with an organization out of Syracuse, New York, called Image Initiative, and it's an organization where we women commit to in, in empowering, engaging, and uh, um, educating young girls, and just you know starting. We, we work with girls from the ages of thirteen to eighteen, and um, yeah, and so it kind of that is so awesome. So you have to give back. So how important for you to feel like you are like a representative? Representative of like fuller figured beautiful women. Do you feel like there's enough of you guys being represented in the media today? Are there enough of us? Attractive, I should say, like yourself. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, do I think there, I mean, of course, there's never enough. You know what I mean? Like, there, I think there are always, there are, there's always an opportunity to do more. Mm -hmm. um, I think it makes, what I've learned most from from uh, my character as Linda is it makes a difference to show people something they can relate to, mm -hmm. to show people somebody they can relate to yeah. through, yes, through the, the, the stories and the things that we uh, go through on Love Thy Neighbor and the things that Linda experiences, um, but also, you know, what you look like. Yes. To, to, to turn on television and not see anybody who looks like you look yes. um, feels one way. Yeah. 
but to be able to turn it on and relate in on so many layers, in the physical, but then also in you know what she kind of deals with and encounters, it I think it really connects our fans mm -hmm. to us because they're so amazing and they're so dedicated and so loyal, and we love you <laughs> and appreciate them so much. Um, you understand what you know why where where it comes from. Do you feel like there's any similarities between your character, Linda, and who you are in real life, real life Kim Lucy Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Because Linda is every woman. And I'm a woman. Um, no, but I know I do. I do. I, I um, Actually, <laughs> there, there have been times when I've read a script, and I'll be like, Mr. Perry, get out of my life. Like, what? I don't recall having a conversation with you about... Okay. You know what I mean? Like, and it, and it, I mean, live like that. That's happened to me, mm -hmm. and it may not be, you know, verbatim what happened, mm -hmm. or it's something that maybe I'm dealing with with a friend right now, and she's experiencing, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh my gosh. And oftentimes, it's it almost kind of gives you another perspective, or gives you the words mm -hmm. to kind of um, share with somebody else, or get through whatever you're going through. So, I'm like Linda in in in, in that way, I guess. But also, I'm a single mother, like she's a single mother, mm -hmm. and she has um, a. 24 year old, so I guess he's probably about 25 by now. <laughs> um, but um, a, a, a you know, 20 year old son, or a son in his 20s, and I have a daughter who's um, a sophomore at Spelman College in Atlanta, and she's 19, so we definitely relate in that way. Now, Lynn's is about to have another baby. Mm. Well, you don't look like you are, so <laughs> that's definitely a difference. <laughs> Lynn. <Linda>. Kendra. <laughs> Snatched us say. Yeah. So, last question: mm -hmm. Have you met Oprah herself, and what is it like to be embraced by such, you know, the audience and actually being on OWN? Like, how do you feel as like an artist being on OWN? You know, working with Tyler Perry. Like, let us know how does it feel? Amazing. <laughs> yes, I bet I have met her um, on more than one occasion uh, because. I think they're both very hands-on, mm -hmm. and so based on that, we've had an opportunity to um, oh. to meet her. But it's amazing; it's such an honor. I remember the first; it's actually available for your viewing on YouTube because I cried in front of the camera. So, um, but when I first met her, I was so overwhelmed because he surprised us. So I wasn't ready. There was no preparation. I wasn't. I, I, there was no self talk. There was no get it together, Kendra. This is you know whatever. Yeah. I just, it just was what it was. It was organically how I felt in the moment. And I remember when I met her, I just was, I didn't, I was just was like, <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> so I loved that. But um, yeah, she, I mean, she's, she's amazing. It's a bless, it's such a blessing to be, I mean, anybody, anybody could be here right now. And I'm just so grateful to the two of them for creating this opportunity and choosing me to live in it. Yay! Well, you're doing a fabulous job, and everyone is super excited about the upcoming season. And I can't wait to watch. It's a pleasure speaking. Thank you so much, Erica. On this season of Tyler Perry's Love Thy Neighbor, what can we expect? Oh, you can expect a lot, Erica. <laughs> There's some special surprises, mm -hmm. special guests, people that might be coming by. Have a maybe. family intervention of sorts. Medea, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm so excited to see it. It was amazing working with her and Mr. Perry at the same time. And <laughs> it was hard to get at first, but um, but I did, I guess. I hope. We'll see. And um, but yes, I mean, I can't wait to see it. I think it's going to be, it was a lot of fun doing. I think you guys are going to love seeing it. That was something you don't want to miss. Did it feel like more pressure having the creator as Medea also on, on the show? Do you feel like you gave you guys more pressure as far as like trying to make sure you don't mess up in front of Tyler because he's like right there? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's always right there because he directs every episode, but he's right there like behind the monitors. This time he was right there. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, and I remember, and you talk about, I mean, I'm a sweater. But oh, I think I was just a whole bottle of moisture underneath my uniform or my, you know, my, my wardrobe that day. Um, but yeah, it was definitely um, a little more intimidating to be that one one one. Well, I'm sure it was fabulous, and we will all be tuning in yes, when the show will. premieres. You will, and we appreciate. It.